Hey there guys, what is going on? Gail Wright here. Welcome back to the YouTube channel once again for another Danmachi Memoria Freeze video. And today, we're going to be going up against the Reveria Record Buster and we're going to be using the new Hero Festa Bell. We're going to be using the Light Team. This is going to be the first time I'm going to be using a Quad DPS setup. So I'm very interested to see how my skill flow is going to be because it's going to change quite a lot. You know, I can't rely on the consistency of Haruhime or Wine. So I'm very, very excited to get into it. Now, of course, if you guys are going to enjoy this video, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. And of course, comment down below. How are you guys faring in the record buster? I, I'm always very excited to see how people's scores are and if there's any way to help people improve upon those scores. You know, it's very, very interesting. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comment section down below. How are you guys faring? Curious to see. Now, before we always get into a record buster, I always like going to the news and seeing for the first time what ailment we're going to be dealing with. However, unfortunately, because of yesterday's video, I already know what the ailment is. And when I mean by yesterday's video, I mean the video we did with the final Grand War stage, which you can go and check out, by the way. It's very, very cool. Um, very, very fun stage. Very, very fun stage. But I already saw it because somebody in my Discord posted the, uh, you know, ailments and the stats and everything. So I already know the weaknesses and all of that jazz. But, well, I don't actually know all the weaknesses. I only know that it's weak to water. That's it. But... Um, and I, but I don't know how much and everything, but I do know that this Reveria Record Buster is slow and sleep. So it's going to be interesting to see how we're going to deal with it. I mean, I know how we're going to deal with it. It's like we, how we normally deal with everything. It's glorious anklets is what we're going to use. We're going to use sleep glorious anklets, uh, make sure that we're surviving and, uh, make sure that we don't get inflicted by that sleep. Now, this is the team I'm taking. Of course, we have the main units that are always there. Lazar, Finn, Fianna. However, we're bringing in Hero Festa Bell as a DPS option. And we have the 4th Anniversary Haruhime to give us a bit of a buff. And Wiene to give us a bit of a debuff. Now, the idea with that Haruhime is that she will give us Critical Rate, Counter Rate, and Penetration Rate 30%. 10% more than the Line. The Line gives us SA Gate Charge, but Fianna already does that, so we don't really need her. And then on top of that, Wiene will give us the minus 40% uh, uh, P-Res and the 30% damage increase from single target attacks. The reason why I also have a lot of the units up front rather than the rear is because Bell, Finn, and Fianna all get a damage boost by a certain stat, be it Strength, Critical Rate, Penetration Rate, SA Gate Charge, you name it. So it's better to have them in the front. Um, I'm very excited to see how this is going to go. I am a little bit concerned about maybe the HP and MP side of things, but I'm not too concerned. But without further ado, I guess we can go in. I don't know what I was going to say, but I think we should just get into the fight and see for ourselves how we're going to be doing against this Riveria record buster. I'm very excited, man. Like I said, uh, like I said, I expect this team to do really well. However, if there is any form of P-Res and Light Res, we're going to be called. Um, I'm hoping to get a billion score, though. Assuming there is no Light Res or P-Res on this dude. She doesn't have any Light Res or P-Res. Oh my god. But she has minus 100% Water Res. That is insane. 60% Earth Res, though. That's very interesting. I wonder why they've gone for so much Earth Res. That's very interesting because... I mean, the only real option for earth units are the Lafia from the cyber ops event and lazar right i'm curious as to seeing why we're getting so much earth res there that's very fascinating that is very very fascinating okay either way we're safe we are clear i'm expecting a billion score i am genuinely expecting a billion score now all right let's see agios is going there we go okay get me the heals bro that was a lot of damage that was a lot more damage than i was expecting Woo -hoo -hoo. Do not do this to me. Do not do this to me, game. Do not make me restart frame one. <laughs> do not make me restart frame one. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Okay, there's a debuff. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay. So, we are fine. We've gotten the fire res down as well. I love how we have a little bit of water damage up because of the Wiene, but we have, we've got the fire res down. Now, we can use Militus Missio to debuff her. And the thing is, um, this is something that you might want to keep an eye out on. If you're playing for the first time, you're going up against Riveria for the first time, is that Riveria will not clear her debuffs after turn 4 uh, when she uses the special arts. And same with turn 8. 
but she will remove your buffs. So, so, so that's something to bear in mind. That is something to bear in mind. All right, so let's use Militus Missile and uh, let's get it going. Beautiful. So much damage there. Now, the one issue is, of course, of having, so uh, you know, P-Res and M-Res and stuff like that from uh, our homeboy, uh, Lazar, is that she will do you a little bit of damage. Um, so we have to be a little bit careful there. Okay, let's do this now. Lots of damage. Lots of damage. Very, very nice. But yeah, we're not able to take advantage of the um, counters, unfortunately, at this point in time. Okay, I'm curious to see how much damage this deals. Um, hopefully not a lot. Hopefully not a lot. We've got the P-Res, the M-Res and stuff like that, but let's see. It's a decent chunk of damage, honestly. Still a lot of damage there. Um, okay, so now we rebuff everybody back up. Now we rebuff everybody. Okay, careful, careful. We need to be a little bit careful here. We're at least getting a lot of the... Uh, we're at least getting a lot of counters here, which is good. Um, I need to use Firebolt Strike in order to get, uh, Critical Rate on STR, yeah. Okay, I need to do that. Um, Piercing Spear, Holy Thrust, and we'll continue with Militus Messia because we need to, uh, actually, no, we didn't need to continue with Militus Messia. that's my bad. I forgot that the debuffs are still on, uh, on her. Uh, that's my bad. Okay, so that's something that I can improve for the next turn, is, uh, making sure we don't need that. Um, instead, I should use Flash Leap on turn 6 rather than turn 7. Okay, that's something to bear in mind. Because, um, obviously the debuffs have already been on. She's got, like, three more turns. Yeah, we're fine here. And it's gonna keep extending because of, a uh, Holy Thrust, uh, which is absolutely something I need to do. Okay. Um, but there we go. Okay. Now I'll use Keen Slash, Warblade, Piercing Spear, and Holy Thrust. Okay. Alright. We're fine, we're fine. I mean, we're not taking that much damage. I'm expe I was expecting a little bit more damage there, I'm not gonna lie. Alright. She's gonna launch this. Alright, we're fine. We are fine. Whew. Still a lot of damage. Uh, still a lot more damage than I was expecting. Alright, Agios, Leading Spear, Indomitable Sword, and we'll use, uh, we'll use Lazar's Special Arts because now we can uh, reapply the buffs, uh, on, uh, on him, which is great. Okay, and then I'm gonna launch my, I'm curious to see when, when I probably should launch my, um, Firebolt Strike, okay. I'm trying to think if there's anything I need to keep an eye out on. I don't think so. I think we're going to just go with this. I think the next turn is when we're going to launch our triple SA with everybody. Okay, getting counters off, which is great. This is really good. We're doing really well here. Um, Now on turn 11 is when we're going to launch our triple SA with these three, I think. Um, and that way we're also revitalizing, um, especially Fiana's MP, because her MP is really low. But I think this is good. I think this is very, very good. Okay. I hope I did this right. I'm hoping I did this right. Um, I mean, looking at that damage from Finn and uh, uh, Bell, I think we did a good job here. All right. Triple uh, uh, SA. I mean, triple SA. Combo SA, I should say now. Um, and we've dealt a decent amount of damage, I want to say. I want to say we've dealt a decent amount of damage. So we're going to get counters off here now. And uh, I think from here, it's a matter of just continuously uh, attacking, I think. Uh, I don't think there's any uh, rest for us. I'm curious to see who I should probably use for the final two essays. I'm thinking, obviously, going with uh, Bell and Finn is probably the best way to go, I think. Um, so we're going to stick with that, I think. I think we're going to stick with that. All right, let's see. I'm curious to also see how much... Uh, how many... Uh, how many essays I can get? I think a double essay is the maximum I'll get probably by turn 15. I think. I think. I don't think I can get any more than that. Hopefully we don't die here. <laughs> okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. I was I was about to say, hopefully we don't die here because I'm not sure. Uh, um, usually, usually the turn 12 special arts is ridiculously powerful, but I think we're fine there. It's crazy how strong Bell is, bro. We're getting 2 million attack stats there, man. It's insane. That is insane. And then the counters are also really strong from everybody. So that's fantastic. Okay. Yeah, we're going to get a double SA. I think we're going to go for uh, Finn and Bell, I think. Finn and Bell is going to be the best way to go about it. So close to a triple SA, though. So close. Maybe if I had Ollie, potentially. Who knows? Who knows? 
I, I don't, um, if I had MLB Ollie, maybe, but uh, I don't think it would have made a difference because it would have over, it, it would have overflowed in at that point. I think it wouldn't have made a difference. I don't think so, at least. But who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? All right, we're gonna go with the special arts and let's see what we're dealing with here in terms of damage. Come on, I want to see 3.59 million and Finn. What are you gonna do? Please don't, please don't guard or penetrate. Uh, Wait, I meant please don't guard. Penetrate, yes. Please penetrate. Please penetrate and crit. Um, but yeah, this is a phenomenal team. This is such a good team. The damage we're dealing is ridiculous. Like I said, the only thing I would change with this team now is I would use Militus Missio. I wouldn't use Militus Missio on turn 6 and instead use Keen Slash. That's the only difference I would make. And let's see my score now. I'm expecting over a billion, like I said. I'm expecting over a billion. The loading is uh, very, very slow, I must admit. Come on, game. Oh, there it is. 1.7 billion. Let's go. Oh my god, my friend is also... Uh, or one of my fr uh, members... Uh, one of my friends list members is literally right here in my group as well. I just realized. That's crazy. Because if I'm not mistaken... Uh, yeah, same one, Ice Thighs, literally right there, that's crazy. We are top 50 right now, top 50 right now. I can make an improvement though to the team, and uh, who knows, maybe I can do something more. But for now, that is a really good score. I might see if I can make some changes maybe to the team, but I think that's honestly uh, the best it can get, to be quite honest. I think that's the best it can get. Um, of course, let me know in the comment section down below, how did your scores go? Did you guys do better, worse than before? Um, is Hero Festa Bell useful for you guys or are you guys maybe even using Astraeus? I'm curious to see what you guys have to say down below in the comments. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Appreciate all of y'all for watching and I will see you guys next time. Take it easy, everybody. Bye-bye.